So to say that decisions are an illusion would imply, I'm wondering if that would imply that there's no free will, right? Because if, if decisions and choices we make in life are an illusion, that mean that implies then that we have no control because decision making itself is control, is free will. You know, we use our free will to make a decision, but if the decision's an illusion. Yeah, and the reason that this topic really came out was because of the Matrix, right? I was watching the movie and there was a line within the, the, the movie that said, you know, they have the red pill and the blue pill, right? Of course, the red pill is the, the path to truth and the blue pill is a path to, you know, continue living in the limited sense of, of life. And so um, they, they would always say, like, when they put out the two pills, like, you already know what you're going to decide. Just make the decision already, right? It's, it's like your decision is just an illusion. We already know that you're going to pick the red pill. You just have to make it. The sooner that you make it, the less energy you you waste on on thinking about it. Like, oh, should I, should I not? And it, it really left me thinking because, you know, sometimes we do think a lot about certain decisions and, and as we should, you know, sometimes there's really hard decisions that we have to make, um, you know, who we want to marry, who we want to uh, uh, what we want to do with our careers, with our lives, who we want to support. So all these decisions that we have throughout our life that that kind of carry on. And so it's really good to to kind of think about it. But, you know, even at that, do you think that, you know, those things just come into play at different times of life and then just kind of seek to redeem you? Because sometimes, as you know, as we talk about things, it's like, she, she tells me like, oh, I'm so thankful for God letting me find you, right? Uh, for God allowing me to find you. And it's like, okay, so was that a godly intervention, a divine intervention? Or was that a free choice of mine to say, hey, I want to date that person, or I, you know, I, I want to find a really great friend. And so those are, those are things that, that kind of boggle my mind. And yeah. um, <clears throat> so- what are your thoughts, too? So many people in psychology would argue that that what you're saying in terms of did God intervene? And I feel like maybe God put me in the right place at the right time and put these events in the right place at the right time to help me meet this special person and all of that. And psychology would probably argue that, you know, that itself is an illusion. The belief that it was all set up and predestined or or and special and special in that way in terms of things just fell in the place at the right time and god let this happen so this could happen and lead to this and psychologists say well that that's an illusion that's your brain trying to to find patterns in your life and then organize them into this based on this belief in your mind that you formed after the fact like you form a belief of this was meant to be and this happened for a reason and this that's why because this this and this happened all these coincidences lined up perfectly. So that must mean that God or someone, something else intervened. Higher power intervened. Uh, so that's the idea that we create this belief of that. And then that belief creates this illusion. And I don't, I don't want to say delusions, but like these other beliefs or, or it tricks your mind into thinking and seeing this pattern that might not actually be there. But that's just that point of view. That's just one point of view. Another point of view from a Christian perspective could be, but yeah, maybe maybe God intervenes in our lives and sets up things a certain way. Um, and then those and it's all just the coincidences line up perfectly. And it's, it's amazing. But is it is it initially because we choose to follow him? With our free will. Right. Is yeah. That- and so it does free will lead to destiny. That's a you tough- know, is it is it do we have. Like, you know, or, or maybe they're, they're like a mixture of each other. You know what I'm saying? That's like, why it's so complicated. Free will kind of leads to, to a destined life, to a destiny, right? Which in the Christian sense, it's heaven, right? All Christians want to get to heaven. And so if they freely choose God, then their destiny is going to be heaven. And so do, do decisions, once they're made and completed, do they have a certain destiny to, yeah, to themselves? Yeah, like does, you know? free will, 
does free will lead to destiny? And that reminds yeah. me of when we had Father Will on here talking on our podcast, he talked about Calvinism and how it's that people misinterpret the Bible as saying that everything's predestined and that we have that means we don't have free will. And he brought up that was a Calvinist belief. And so then he mentioned something like God leads us on the right path, but we can choose with free will to go on the path or not on the path. And so I'm wondering how that plays into it, but that's a really hard question because when we hear the word destiny, what do we think? And when I hear the word destiny, I think it's predestined. You know, that's mm. what destiny seems to me, but it, maybe it's more complicated than that. I don't know. Cause, yeah. But then when I hear free will, that means to me, I'm making my own choices with mm. my own agency. So what does that yeah. mean? Yeah. But I think, I think the word choice that you used there was pretty interesting because you're, when you think of destiny, you you said you think of pre-destiny, Pre-destined. right? Predestined, meaning that it was already like set up beforehand, before you, your your free will, before your free, um, yeah, before you made decisions. But destiny maybe could be the aftermath of free will, right? And so it's not pre, it's post-destiny, like post-destiny after you made certain amount of decisions, right? And so certain amount of decisions you know, destined someone to jail, right? Because they committed a lot of crimes. And so it's almost like they, destiny in itself could be the the outcome of free will, right? Yeah, if you think about it as a math equation, you plug in a certain number of this, this choice and this choice and this choice all together led to this destiny over here. I think yeah. that's like a... Yeah. a combination of of choices leads to different types of destinies Mm. someone could choose different choices that lead them to jail or they could choose choices that lead them to marriage or lead them to hook up after hook up or lead them to just being single right so yeah 